Have ever imagined something like this? Just imagine that everyone else except me is just a fake and that I'm the only one with consciousness. Others look at the sky and say it is blue and scream when they're hurt, but they can have the subjective feeling that the sky is blue and the fire is hot. The philosopher David Chalmers called a philosophical zombie. But even if philosophical zombies do exist, can you distinguish them from real people? Computer programmers, scientists, and smart people are working hard to create smarter AI. And Turing test is a test to see how much does an artificial intelligence resemble a human and how intelligent it is. People have to guess who the other person is while talking without knowing whether they are human or artificial intelligence. But what if an AI could pass all of the very difficult Turing tests and were smart enough to trick people into believing it is a real person? Could there be really such a thing as consciousness in this artificial intelligence? There is a thought experiment designed to refute the usefulness of the Turing test. It's a Chinese room thought experiment. There is a person in the room who doesn't speak Chinese at all. At the entrance, a piece of paper with questions written in Chinese comes in. In the room, he refers the book with the list of all the possible questions and answers, and he picks one of the correct answers and sends it out again. One outside the room will think he's talking to someone inside the room, and think someone is really understanding what he's saying. But can the person in the room really understand Chinese? A philosophical zombie who can speak Chinese now is born. Philosopher John Sir, based on this thought experiment, says that even an AI that perfectly passes the Turing test in conversation with a human does not actually understand the conversation and therefore has no real intelligence or consciousness in it. So no matter how AI is, couldn't it have consciousness? There are also various objections to this. What matters even if the person in the Chinese room doesn't know Chinese? Even so, the room itself can communicate with people in Chinese. No matter how the interior works, the room itself can be seen as understanding Chinese. And our brains are like that too. Assume we can speak Chinese, but the neurons in our brain, do they really understand Chinese? Many studies have already shown that the brain works according to the strengths of synaptic connections or the pattern of connections in neurons. Someone says it is true that because the person in the room can understand Chinese, so the AI can understand something and can be conscious. Can't it be also true that our brain can understand things and we don't have consciousness? Many people have tried to define consciousness, but in the end, no one knows the existence of it except you. Perhaps even as science advances, consciousness itself will maybe remain failed forever. The various arguments endlessly goes on without a conclusion between that consciousness is a function of the brain or that it comes from some soul independent of our body and so on. However, neuroscientist Giulio Tononi argues that if consciousness cannot be properly explained, it must be because it is a fundamental principle of the universe such as gravity and time. And furthermore, if any system can integrate and process information, they could be consciousness. And that information processing power is called the pi. And the bigger the pi, the higher dimension of consciousness. Also, according to these, even if pi is very small, as long as it is not zero, even objects can be conscious. What do you think? Can artificial intelligence be conscious? Or maybe things already have it, as Giulio Tononi claims. No one knows yet. Well, I'm sorry that video ends like anime on One Piece where the treasure One Piece was just a piece of shitty note reading, your adventure and memory was just One Piece itself. Well, though, I must believe your intellectual journey here was as good. Thanks. 